All right, live from New York here at Hadoop World, this is Barton George with Todd P., otherwise known as Todd... Todd Papuani. Oh, my God. But every, that... Everybody calls me Todd P. I'm sure. So um, tell us a little bit about your background. You've been in this space, this big data space, before it was big data. When it was medium-sized data? I think it was still big data. It was just, you know, that we didn't call it big data. Uh, but, yeah, so I was, uh, I'm currently at Battery Ventures as an EIR there. Before that, I was at Yahoo as the chief cloud architect there was responsible for architecture and strategy across all of the global cloud computing uh, infrastructure and platform as a service. Before that, I was at Teradata for five years, and before that, I was at uh, Greenplum for five years, before it was even called Greenplum. So I like to think I've been doing this big data thing, you know, before it's called big data. So EIR, Entrepreneur in Residence, how does one become one of those, and how did you decide to, to do that, and what does it mean? Well, a uh, number of questions there, so we'll just rattle through them. How does one become there? In my case, the, the guys at Battery reached out to me and uh, knew that I was interested in the space, had a few ideas about you know, how the market was going to unfold, and we started up uh, you know, just a conversation and a dialogue over a couple of lunches and dinners, and in the end it turned into a, hey, why don't you come to Battery and you know, work on those ideas and you know, see what they turn into. And so, for, in your case, how much was it a specific idea versus, hey, we want you who has experience in this area to help us evaluate um, prospectuses that come through from companies? It, it was a mixture, actually. So I, I do three things, really, for Battery. One is uh, I work with the, uh, the investment team. So I work with uh, the digital media team and the enterprise infrastructure team, looking at trends in the market, looking where there's disruption, looking at where there's opportunity. And, and as part of that, I... Uh, look at companies that come by, help with due diligence, and I, and I try to help you know, predict where we should be investing. The second thing is I work with our portfolio companies, just advising them on building internet, in, you know, scale infrastructure or their data infrastructure, or product or go-to-market strategy. Uh, and the third thing, and candidly, you know, the most important for me, is I had a couple of ideas coming in that were just kind of like broad, and we've been working to narrow down and refine those ideas. And so, you know, really one and three go together, right? And, you know, hopefully the goal is that we come up with an idea, battery like it, we go and invest in it and uh, create a company. Bob's your uncle. So, uh, <laughs> Actually, his name is Bob, but you know. Well, well there you go. <laughs> and the other one's Keith, but we're going to Okay, do? <laughs> so yeah, exactly. It doesn't have the same ring to it. Uh, so then, uh, to the extent you could give us any kind of hints about what you're doing or the timing of it. Well, you know, as they like to say in the business, real soon now, watch this space. Uh, it's definitely in the big data space. You know, I like to try to keep it a little bit stealth and under wraps at the minute, but um, you know, things are going well so far. Well, so as you say, part of what you do is uh, advise on what's happening in the space and trends. What are some of the trends you're seeing that, um, as you've, you've been in the industry for a while, that maybe has have surprised you um, the way that Hadoop and big data have developed, and, and what is particularly interesting? I think what's interesting at the minute is that you know we're really only two years into the formation of this market. I've been tracking this for a while. And at the minute, you know, everybody has kind of like, look, you know, and here we are at Hadoop World, right? Got this, uh, you know, Hadoop mania um, is one way to look at it. Um, but what I, what I see a lot now in the market is that, uh, you know, there's a lot more companies starting to appear in the stacks above the plumbing. I think the first couple of years was really about the plumbing layers, so whether that's a Hortonworks or Cloudera or MapR or Mongo or Rioc or Redis and all of those other storage engines out there talking about NoSQL and big data. As consumers of that technology, most you know, companies still had to assemble the components themselves and build applications on top. And so the natural evolution of the market is for people to start to build on top of the plumbing and say, okay, here's our kind of like application building enablement tools. And then I think you know, where ultimately the value will accrue at the end of the market will be at the top for their analytic applications and you know, vertical apps. And so we're kind of in this process of that unfolding around us as we watch, basically. And just to close with then, what has been the sort of the highlight or the takeaway that you'd have from the, the conference so far? I think this year I've noticed a lot more people looking at applications higher up the stack. You know, I mean, I was at the Hadoop Summit, you know, helped organize that with uh, Yahoo earlier in the year. And previous Hadoop conferences have been more about, I've got this component and that one has been packaged up and made easy to consume. Now people are kind of saying, look, I, I need applications to... The early adopters, the West Coast internet companies and online companies have adopted the technology, and now the fast followers are going, yeah, I, I don't really want to have to hire a team of 20 Hadoop engineers just to stand this thing up. I just want an application that works. That's what I'm used to in my traditional RDBMS world and the rest of my software. Give me applications that work. Uh, so now it's, it's a much more interesting conversation for me. That's the stuff that you know, I actually get excited about. Excellent. Todd Papuano, thank you so much. Thank you very much.